the premise for Secretly Santa is something that sounds quite interesting, but I actually feel like this is a really poorly developed narrative. The film is also known as Falling in Love at Christmas. It was released this year in 2021, directed by Sharon Lewis, written by John Dion. This is actually on BBC iPlayer, and I would say give it a watch if this is your kind of film, but I will never say that it's the best Christmas film I've ever seen. So the premise from IMDb sums it up quite well, and this is as follows. Lorana and Paul, two business rivals who playfully despise each other, work together on a holiday gift-giving app, and unexpected, and unexpected feelings develop for one another. So our protagonists, as mentioned, Miranda and Paul, played by Alicia Dia Josipovic and Travis Malcolm. And I like the idea of an app that tells you the perfect gift idea for somebody. And I would love to explain to you how this app works, but unfortunately we never really get that information in the film. Yes, it touches upon it slightly, but I never felt like as a viewer I really understood what this app was or how it worked or what they were trying to achieve with it. And that's kind of a shame because that's the entire premise of the film against the backdrop of Christmas and some brewing romance born out of animosity. And yep, you could argue that by going into too much detail it would make the film quite technical and people would just switch off. But there are a lot of similar films that deal with apps and tech companies and they're able to explain it quite well without it getting tedious. So I feel like it's really underdeveloped as a narrative. It doesn't really explain a lot of it very well. Putting that aside, if we focus on the Christmas aspect, it's definitely festive. Beautiful costumes, gorgeous lights, decorations. I feel, I feel confident that it's one that will put you in the festive mood. So if that's what you're looking for, Certainly this would be a reasonable choice. And if we look at the the rom-com aspect, the romance, Miranda and Paul are pretty interesting characters. They're interesting enough. I didn't think either of them were annoying. Yes, they're quite cliche, but that's not necessarily a problem. That's kind of what you expect with a Christmas rom-com. That side of it, I thought was okay. The development of the narrative is not that interesting but neither is it bad it doesn't feel forced it doesn't feel unrealistic i feel like the characters as they develop still you know they kind of maintain their true properties of who they are and what they believe in so all of that made sense i just feel like the narrative itself is quite underdeveloped it's like it's trying to do something but doesn't quite know how to do it and I don't believe for a second that they couldn't get people on board who actually knew about apps and how to, you know, speak about them in layman's terms without being too uninformative. It definitely could have been a lot better. It's not a terrible film. I do recommend it, but it's not at the list of my top recommendations. There are certainly a lot better, more well-developed Christmas films that come before this one.